Lesson 2. Reading Comprehension. Activity 1. Read the blog on pages 34 to 35 again. Complete the sentences in your notebook. Please note that each sentence ends with because. We used because before giving reason or explanation about something. 1. Emma started her blog because. She wants to write about all the cool adventures she's going to have. 2. Her favorite ski run is the ice monster because. It's really fast and the views from the top are amazing. 3. A kayak is different to a canoe because. It's smaller and the paddle has two blades. 4. Hot air balloons aren't quiet because. The flame makes a loud noise. 5. Emma did the edge walk because. She wanted to do something special for her birthday. Activity 2. Are the sentences fact or opinion? Write F for fact and O for opinion. Fact means something that you know is true. For example, my city has got two museums. Opinion is what you think or believe about something or someone. For example, my city is very beautiful. One, Whistler is a ski resort near Vancouver. Fact. Two, Canada is the perfect place for sport and adventure. Opinion. Three, it was really exciting and the scenery was amazing. Opinion. 4. People had to fly the balloons when the wind was strongest. Fact. 5. The CN Tower is 553 meters high. Fact. 6. It was terrifying but we loved it. Opinion Activity 3. What do you think? Discuss the questions with a partner. 1. Why is Canada good for adventure? 2. Which activities in the blog would you like to try? Why? Why is Canada good for adventure? Because Canada has different type of places to do different activities. Which activities in the blog would you like to try? I would like to try the edge walk. Why? Because I've never tried it before and it looks exciting. Now, discuss with your partner. Working with words. Irregular past participles. 
Some irregular verbs have a past participle that is different to the past simple form. Watch out for these verbs and keep a list in your notebook. Verb Past simple and past participle A verb is a word that we use to refer to actions, what things do, and states of being, how things are. Past simple is used to describe events in the past. Past participle indicates that an action was completed, finished or perfected at some point in the past before something else happened. Let's take a look at some examples. The past simple for go is went. The past participle is gone. The past simple for see is saw. The past participle is seen. Please note that the past simple and past participle of these verbs are different. Underline the past participle. Which verbs are they from? Which ones are different to the past simple form? I've flown to the different countries and I've written about most of them in my blog. I've had lots of amazing experiences. is past participle. I've seen pandas in the wild. Seen is past participle. I've swum with dolphins and I've slept in a tree house. Swum and slept are past participles. I've met lots of interesting people and I've heard some fantastic music. Met and heard are past participles. Find the infinitive form and simple past of this verb. Flown Fly Flew Write Wrote Half Had Seen See Saw Swum Swim Swam Sleep Slept Met Meet Met Heard Hear Heard Can you notice? Which past participle are different to the past simple form? <laughs>